Hey friends, what's going on? David Potts here with Song Notes, and today I'm going to show you how to play Old Man, the classic by Neil Young. So for this lesson, I have this PDF made for you, right? It is five pages of handcrafted goodness. It gives you everything you need to know in order to learn this song. So on the first page here, I have all the lyrics for everything, chord chart for you, the intro sort of timed out. And you get into the other pages, and I'm going to get into some of the, the details of how to play this stuff. So we'll look at the chord shapes you'll need, the chord progressions used for the entire song, a couple notes on strumming. And then later on, we're going to get into intro, you know, a simple version of the tab, a more sort of complex version. Same for the verse. I'll show you how to do all those cool hammer-ons. And then finally, we'll get to the chorus. Same thing. I'll show you a basic, basic way to play it. And then if you want to get a bit more... Uh, advance with your strumming and stuff there'll be a tab for you there and then finally at the end i have a cheat sheet with all the tabs sort of in one page for you so that's going to be something that can help you learn the song get that over at my website playsongnotes.com and let's get into this lesson this is a beefy song jump ahead if you know what section you're looking for and i'll see you all on the other side let's do it all right chords for this song so let's look at these real quick the first two chords i'm going to teach you are this d chord right a regular d major and you're going to need to go between that and a d minor nine and that's gonna be used in the intro. I'm gonna cover that in a little bit, but for now, just understand that it's the same basic shape, right? It's like the D shape, two, three, two, but it's going from second and third fret up to fifth and sixth fret, right? But you wanna take off your finger off the thinnest string. So in both cases, you're playing the open fourth string, um, and you're going from a regular D up to a D minor nine and then you're gonna end up having to go back to the D. So when you practice these, practice them together and practice going back and forth between the two. So again, I'm gonna go deeper into the intro in a little bit, but those are the first two chords. Now the rest of the chords are pretty straightforward, right? Let's look at these. We'll have a regular D chord, I just showed you that. We'll have a C chord, okay? Now we'll have an F chord, but here's the deal. Um, I never play this with a full six string F, right? I do what Neil seems to do, which is just the middle four strings. A lot easier. I'm sort of muting the thinnest and thickest strings with my thumb and index finger just by lightly keeping contact with the string but not pushing it down, right? That lets you strum all six strings and it doesn't make a sound on these two strings, which is nice. We'll also have a G chord. For the G, I will typically just do the, the uh, third fret on these two strings. I'm gonna mute the fifth string usually just by my ring finger touching it here. It's just a convenience thing, right? So that's, uh, just wanted to call that out for the G. And then later on, we'll have an A minor seven and an E minor, okay? A minor seven, the quick note there is it's an A minor, but you take your finger off the third fret, right? Don't play the thickest string. You can also think of this as a C chord, but your ring finger is not on the fifth string. It's an A minor seven. And then an E minor is a pretty uh, straightforward open chord there. So those are the chords we're going to need. Now at this point, let me do this. I want to talk about the chord progressions for the entire song. I'm going to go through each section really quick. And the idea here is that even if you just want to do the strummiest, strum, like the most basic campfire version, none of the riffs, none of the fills, this next part will be your friend. Okay, I'm going to show you a simple strumming pattern. Just give you the lay of the land. Then later on, again, I'm going to go into each section and talk about the details. So first up, this intro. Now the intro is characterized by these five measures, right? And quite simply, if you forget about st strumming and forget about hammer-ons and all the complicated stuff, basically it's gonna be D minor nine for three measures, right? I'll do a single strum on the one count, one, two, three, four, then two measures of D, okay? So let's repeat that, right? So D minor nine, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now this is paired with him eventually singing, right? Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you were. And you repeat it. Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. And when you go back to the D here, the final time, you're gonna start the verse, okay? D two, three, four, F two, three, four, C two, three, four, G two, three, four. And the next line is gonna be the same thing, but we're gonna go back to an F instead of going back, instead of going to a G, right? So that's D two, three, four, F two, three, four, C two, three, four, F two, three, four. Okay? Um, he does that, those, those eight measures I just played you, he does those without singing. Then he comes in and sings and he plays these four lines I just, I have up here, right? So, old man, look at 
my life. 24 and there's so much more. Right? B234, F234, C234, F234. Third line. D234, F23, C234, G234. And the final line is just the same chords rearranged in the order, right? D234, C234, F234, G234. Then he transitions up to the chorus, okay? And the chorus is just these uh, four measures. Now, it's a little bit tricky because the E minor and the G are gonna happen at weird times, but if you want the simplest possible version, like in my orange writing here, we're gonna go D for one measure, or for two measures actually, so D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A minor, seven, two, three, four, E minor, G, D, okay? That's a simple version to do it. Let me do it again there, right? D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, A minor, seven, two, three, four, E minor, G. Old man, take a look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Okay? I want someone to hold me the whole night through. Okay? That's the easy version. The trickier version, and I'm going to get into this later in the lesson, is to uh, do the chord transitions for the E minor and the G on the highlighted notes here, right? The four and then the three and count, right? Old man, take a look at my life. I'm a lot like you. I want someone to hold me the whole night through. Okay, I'm going to bring in full strumming later in the lesson, but that's basically the progression you'll need for the, for, for the chorus. So big picture, that's the entire song. Okay, now um, you want to see the first page of my PDF to look at like when he's singing and when he's not. Because for example, he'll do the first two lines of the verse with no singing, then he'll do the full verse, right? And then the intro, he'll do the whole intro twice with no singing, then he'll do it once and a half with singing, right? Then you move on. Now, strumming patterns, before we get into the rest of the song, let me talk about this. I have two written down for you right here. There, there's a really simple one where we're just going to go down. Right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. This is the simplest one I would recommend. It's just down strums on the one and the three count, right? If you want to get trickier, you could do a down, 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 kind of constant up and down strums and he'll sort of, you know, not strum all the strings in certain cases and he'll do hammer-ons in other cases or maybe do some palm muting. There's lots of nuance to what he's doing. So I would recommend starting with the simple ones I have here. Do them as they work for you. Get a, get a grip with the chord progressions and the chord changes and all that stuff and then amp up the strumming as you see fit. Add the hammer-ons and all the flourish and everything, right? So um, I hope this is helpful so far. I gave you the lay of the land with the entire song. But with that said, let's look at each individual section and talk about how we can really crank it up to play it just like Neil does. Okay, so first up is going to be the intro. Now about the intro to this song, let me say this is super difficult. And let me say that I made a 20 minute lesson just on these two chords. Okay, so um, I want to recommend that lesson to you if you're having trouble. Don't expect yourself to get this within the first session of practicing or even the first couple sessions. This took me a few... Um, it took me like five days of practicing every day very carefully to be at all confident with things. So um, I had another lesson that gives you the sort of the drill down. I'm going to give you a sort of um, the, the quick summary here of how to practice this. The first thing I will show you is this. Um, here again is the five measures. So you want to get first good at going from this D to the D minor 9. Okay, Be able to do this transition in your sleep. And that might take you a few days to do, right? It involves going from a D, you just slide up to 5, 6, open, right? Open, open, 5, 6, open. All right, so be able to go back and forth. Now, once you have the, the chord change is good, the next thing you want to understand is it's going to be, of course, three measures on D minor 9, right? So, old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you were. Now, the first thing that might be helpful for you here is to understand when you do the chord changes with the lyrics. Um, the words that are circled here. Uh, so it's, 
He does a strum first, then he says, old man, and then on look, look at my life, I'm, on I'm, he strums, and then you were, you were, one more time, right? Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you were. So if you can just practice what I just did, get really, really comfortable with doing that, and what's gonna happen is naturally you're gonna find maybe your strumming hand starts to noodle a little bit, right? Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Maybe you add a hammer on, right? I'm just sort of uh, making that up. But you want to be able to sort of feel this timing. Re really, like, get, get a, just put in some reps, practice it, because it's only going to get more difficult from here once we go crazy with the right hand and the strumming. So uh, that's the foundation. If you have that, let's look at this next part, which is how to play it sort of like Neil does. Now, this, this is going to look very scary, perhaps, because um, I, I kind of went crazy marking up how, I, how I'm doing this here. But let's work on it measure by measure, okay? First thing we're gonna focus on is the D minor nine parts. There's three measures total. The good news is second and third measure are the exact same. So that basically means there's two different um, strums here. One is the first measure, and then the other one is for the second and third measure. Okay, so the first thing I wanna call out here is there is a hammer on happening in the first, second, and third measure. It's happening on the two count and the two end count of the first measure, right? So. Right? One, two, and three, and four. And this is just the first measure. One, two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three, and four. And I'm just doing the first two counts there with the hammer on. But notice how in the second and third measure, the hammer on's happening on the one count, right? One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And okay, so if we do the first three measures and we only did the, the hammer on, and in the first measure, I'll play just the open D string to start off with, right? So one, two, Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right then we go to the D that's something you want to get a handle on next and I talk all about this in my other video lesson there um, but basically you could you could take that first tab I showed you right so oh man look at my life I'm a lot like you were you could just do the, the sort of the strum and the hammer on Now after the hammer on, the next thing I would call out, and this gets really tricky, is you see my highlighted notes here? Those represent the sort of like, it's a rough melody that my ear hears at least with this. And the idea is these are usually always the thinnest string that you're playing, right? So for example, if you take the first three strums in the first measure, right? I'm going from fourth string only to the third and fourth string. And then the first three strings, or the second, third, and fourth string, right? So get used to those first three down strums. And then what we're gonna do after those three down strums is bring in some brushy up strums at the end of the measure there on the three end and the four end count, right? Just the first measure. Now this is really tricky. Notice how on the three count, I'm doing a down strum on the second, third, and fourth string, but on the very next up strum, I'm grabbing the thinnest string. And part of the idea here is not to overdo it with the thinnest string. The thinnest string brings a real dissonant sound, which can be a bit harsh. Okay, now let's look at the second and third measure here. The idea here is we're gonna start on the hammer on, so our first three um, strums are gonna be a down, down, up. Down, down, up, okay? So you need real control here. You wanna just strum specific strings. Okay, and then on the final, down, up, we're gonna do the thinnest three strings, right? So. Okay, so the first three measures then would sound like this. Okay, and then from
from there, what we want to do is go to the D. And with the D, um, we're basically going to just pluck the bassiest couple notes the first time. On the second down strum, do all four strings and then hammer on that second fret of the thinnest string. And, and then the next sort of melody note here is a third fret of the uh, second string. So down. Really, it's that three end count when we up strum. We want to capture that second string, third fret, right? So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. And the final measure. Okay, here it's all up and down strums. So in a way, it's easier. You're always strumming, but in a way, it's harder because you have to pluck the actual strings, right? So the, the trick here is to notice that on the down strum, I am kind of getting the third and fourth strings usually. And on the up strums, I'm catching the melody notes, right? Now the up, the up, uh, the up, up strums are catching those melody notes and on the very end there, I'm sliding back up to the D minor nine before the measure ends. Hence my last up strum, capturing that sixth fret. So the whole first five measures is gonna sound like this. So that's uh, what you're going to do. You're going to do it twice without singing, then you're going to sing the old man part on top of it. And I have a lot of trouble doing that, to be totally honest. So um, this is definitely tricky, and I want to stress this is probably the hardest part of the song. And um, this is just how I like to play it. Um, take this lesson and take my other lesson with a grain of salt. You know, if they work for you, great. If not, you can check out some other lessons out there. This is just so hard to teach, and it's going to come down to practice, 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 get comfortable with it and then add on the skill level, you know, the flourishes and the strumming nuance as your skill level lets you, right? Um, this might just be too hard. And if it's too hard, just, old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. You can just do a casual strum, right? Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Okay, time to do this next part. There's a verse here. Uh, the good news about this is I already showed you the progression, right? It's the four measures of the D to the F to the C to the G. Then you do D to the F to the C to the F. Then you repeat the first line, D to the F to the C to the G. Then you go D to the C to the F to the G. Okay, and you apply any strumming pattern you want, whether that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or whether it's the down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. But here's how you're gonna do all this hammer on stuff that makes it sound nice and good. And uh, these first eight measures here are what he plays before he starts singing after the intro. So, all right, so to get started, let's look at this. Uh, Th this tab here. For the D, we're just going to strum the D on the one count. One, two, three, and four. Okay, on the three count, we're going to hammer on our index finger, right? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you did more strumming, it doesn't matter if you do a lot of strumming or none. You basically want to get the one count three count okay now for the F similar deal here middle four strings is what I'm playing but on the two count and the three count we're gonna pull off our, our our middle finger will be off and on the three count we're gonna hammer it back on right so the first two measures 
and then the C chord. Right? It's from the full C chord, and then on the fourth string, hammer on from zero to second. On the third string, hammer on zero to second, then play open third string, and then we're gonna basically go from open third, open fourth, to the G chord, okay? Now, this one is all about feel. You wanna get that pulse going with your right hand. Right? That's one, one bit of advice here. So the first four lines, if you just did a very simple version. Okay, and the second line here, it's gonna be the same thing, but on the final measure, we're just gonna do the F measure again, right? Um, That's basically the note, but let me talk about some of the tricks here as far as the nuance. Especially with the C chord um, and these hammer-ons, you're typically, I find you're just gonna be constantly plucking that third and fourth string. Okay, on that C. Okay, for those C hammer-ons, I'm never doing the single string. Usually doing third and fourth string. Um, okay, going into the G can be sloppy, but as long as you keep your rhythm and your timing, it's all good. And just get that full G strum on that three count, right? start uh, doing the singing here and the singing is what I showed you earlier right so old man look at my life 24 and there's so much more when I'm doing this part though I'm not doing the hammer-ons typically that makes me think too you can add them in when you're singing but when you're singing usually your voice is what's front and center so uh, do the hammer-ons and you're not singing when you are singing you can just lay off and do regular strumming so that's how you're gonna do the verse for this song okay uh, now let's look at the uh, the chorus. So the chorus is basically um, big picture again. It's going to be this two measures of D, and then almost a measure of A minor seven to E minor, and then to G. But the timing here is weird. So remember, I showed you you can do that trick where you basically keep it easy by going D two three four D two three four A minor seven E minor G. That's a simple version where you're sort of, you're keeping all the chord changes happening on the one and the three count. But to play it like he does, we want to get the... Um, oh, now take a look at my life, I'm a lot like you. I want someone to hold me. adding a bunch of filler strums there. Let me show you what that looks like here. Okay, so here what I'm also showing you is this walk up. This comes at the end of the um, end of the verse, right? So like a tall and they won't get tossed, rolling home to you. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. So let's look, let's look what we're doing here. So walking up, sixth string, third fret, open to second to third on the fifth string, and then we end on the one count with an open fourth string for our D. Or you can do uh, third and fourth strings together. Okay, so let's talk about this. Starting on the D measure, the one, two, three are 
gets a real accent, right? One, two. And on that three count, I'm doing a hammer on on the first fret, the uh, first string of the D chord. On the two and the three count of the next measure, I'm a, going from a D sus four to a D, right? So one, two, three, two. So one, two. tricky um, on the the second D measure D sus four on the two count regular D on the three count and then a minor seven on the one count and on the two end count we're gonna put our pinky down right then I'm kind of gonna usually mute the strings a little bit on my next down strum and then on the four count go to E minor and then up down up on the final three eighth notes of the G measure. So the dark strum arrows here represent the real strums you want to emphasize. Everything else is like filler strum. Do it as you see fit, if at all. So here's what it would sound like. Right? So. This is where he sings over it, right? Old man, take a look at my life. I'm alive like you. I want someone to hold me all night through. I want to look in my eyes and I can see that, I see that's true. So that's what you'll need for that chorus uh, walk-up riff there. And again, once you start singing, you're going to lay off a lot of these hammer-ons and everything and just stick to the straight rhythmic chords and keep your pulse of things. Hey, and real quick, here's a playthrough of the intro, first verse, and first chorus to show you how it all sounds when you put it together. Let's watch. Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you were. Old man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you were. Old man, look at my life. Take a look at my life, I'm a lot like you I need someone to hold me the whole day through I want to look in my eyes and you can tell So there you have it. You have the intro, you have the verse, and you have the chorus. And one thing to note is in my PDF chord sheet here on the final page, I have everything sort of um, 
all the, the, the intro, the verse, and the chorus all on one page for you if you want like a cheat sheet as you get this PDF. Because this PDF is five pages of heavier notes and this is nice to have one thing to practice. So um, that's how you're going to do it with the, uh, the main parts of this song. I hope this was helpful for you. Get the PDF at my website and uh, check out the other lessons I made for this song there. I have that intro lesson as well and I want to do a, a full playthrough cover as well to hear how I put it all together. So I hope this is helpful for you. This is a tricky one, but let me know how this lesson worked out for you and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care. Bye-bye.